to you from the Beaver Lake Cree Nation, which is located in northern Alberta, Canada. First and foremost, I want to say a hey and thank you to the Piscataway Indian Nation of the Potomac River, which is now known as Washington, D.C. I stand here today with my brothers and sisters in solidarity. That includes you too. I stand here as a First Nations woman to say that we should never have to choose between our moral obligations, our indigenous ways of knowing and being who we are as keepers of the land. We should never have to choose that or feeding our families. I'm here because I have an obligation to my children, my ancestors, our future generations, and our one true mother. If this pipeline goes through, it will be at the cost of human life, air life, water life. I come from the source of where this pipeline will ultimately further develop an already destroyed land. Currently, industry has completely desecrated an area the size of a country. England and Switzerland, in 20 years, the Sahara Desert in northern Alberta, what was once the pristine northern boreal forest. If this pipeline goes through, your government will further assist in the raping and pillaging of the lands of my ancestors. Whilst deliberately ignoring the basic human rights to clean air and water and our inherent constitutionally protected rights. I abide by natural law and there's nothing natural about a people dying from cancer. Fish with, cat, with cancers hanging off of them. Moose with pus bubbles under the skin. Babies being airlifted to the hospital for drinking contaminated water. And that's the truth. Communities like my sister Melina Lubacan, who is from the Lubacan Cree, which is located in one of the three tar sands deposits, they experienced a massive oil spill bigger than the Kalamazoo in Michigan. And this is what our future looks like. No. No. The law is being broken every single day as more and more permits to industry are granted within my nation's traditional hunting territory. To date, over 19,000 permits granted with the promise our government along with industry will push through expansion. A projected 10 times which ultimately will be the size of Florida when they're done. Then they'll promise to give us back what was never theirs in the first place. Don't be fooled by their ideology of what reclamation is. Reclamation is me standing here with the 99%. What? Planting the seeds of knowledge and reclaiming who we are and who I am as a First Nations person of Turtle Island. We're here today to say we never went anywhere and nor do we plan to. I'm here to share with you what true and honest leaders say. When disaster strikes, it's not going to know race, color, or creed. I'm here to tell you that when that happens, the greed is going to see that we cannot eat money and we cannot drink oil. We all bleed the same color. I stand here far away from home and my children to tell you that there has been hostages taken in this game they play of environmental roulette. We are the economic hostages pacifying ourselves with money. We have an obligation to our one true mother. If we take care of her, she'll take care of us. Providing and nurturing. 
but when we ignore that and choose greed and wealth, an economy that is not stable, she will fight back. We cannot ignore that our mother has stirred the thunder and water beings along these pipeline routes. Our environment is speaking to us. We must wake up. We are human, not the creator. In solidarity, all my relations. I'm grateful to each and every one of you because you give me the strength to keep on keeping on. Fighting the good fight. And I ask you all to stay around at the end of the march. As we partake in an action of solidarity and friendship, we're going to do what's called a round dance. We're going to link hands, standing sideways, begin stepping to the left, and eventually we're going to move into a unified circle. And if you want to hear more, please come on, come on down to Bus Boys and Poets tonight on K Street at 7 p.m. And with that, I want to introduce to you respected elder Casey Camp from the Tonka Nation in Oklahoma. I'm a member of the Ponca Nation of Oklahoma. My name was Judy. The name that my captors called me was Casey Camp. So I give you my colonized name as well. I see you, my relatives. I see you, my red relatives back here. I see you, my black relatives out there. I see you, my white relatives out there. I see you, my yellow relatives out there. I see you, my thunder relatives. I see you, my grass relatives. I see you, my four leg relatives. I see you, my water relatives. This day, you could be anywhere. You could be doing anything. That's the way my people say. But instead, you chose this day to be here. You chose this day to stand solidarity to stand in solidarity with each other the human race because we know that our mother the earth with merely a shrug of her shoulder could shake us off with merely a talk to her thunder nation she could wash us away but instead she nurtures us instead she gives us strength Instead, she feeds us the power to come together. We are allied with the greatest powers that are. We are allied with the Father, Son. We are allied with the Mother Earth. We are allied with the relatives of the moon and the stars. And my relatives, you are winners. My relatives, this is the beginning of the change. What you do today makes the difference, and I thank you and I love you. Weave the heart from my relatives to yours. Relative from Louisiana, that's one thing to say to you from the Cherokee to Nene. Let's make some noise, y'all. Come on, you can get it